Hi Libras and welcome to your April 2021 general tarot forecast. This is Sky here to talk to you about the uh, lovely energies coming in for your sign in the month of April. Let's see what's coming up for you, Libra. Okay, so um, I'm going to talk a little bit about intuitive messages in this reading. I'm going to talk about the week to week uh, with the tarot messages and then I'm going to do an extended for you over on Patreon. Um, so intuitively, this month for Libra is going to show you everything, okay? Um, nothing's going to be hidden from you. Anything hidden is going to come up. Um, anything that you haven't been able to see or anything that you haven't been able to uh, perceive is going to probably become quite clear, um, and especially things about you, okay? So the way that you're working in your environment, the way that you're uh, moving, the way that you're... Um, mental health is, okay, is going to become really apparent and clear. Um, and I talked about this, I think it was in one of the tea chats on Patreon, about how the need to um, become more objective, the need to kind of see ourselves uh, in every moment and to uh, hold that space for ourselves and observe our health in all ways is one of the most important things of April. Um, so the reason that that's the case is because we've come out of a full moon in Libra, which opposed a Sun, Chiron, Venus conjunction in Aries. Okay, so um, there is a hugely perceptible vision into the health of our entire being right now. And being that that full moon was uh, in your sign, Libra, um, your emotional health becomes a very, very obvious factor right now. And uh, for many, many Libras, it seems like there's been nothing but progress there. And it seems like you really need to pat yourself on the back for the progress that you've made. Um, though I'm thinking that there is maybe a little bit of a tendency to uh, look at spilled cups. We've got five of cups coming up um, as the only card in this reading that's a little bit um, heavy. Um, so you have a huge majority of kind, fun, enjoyable, uh, benevolent, abundant energies coming in. But there is a need to observe even the little things, okay, really allowing yourself to see the small aspects, the small things that um, are not feeling great, uh, the crowded aspects, okay? Something is a little bit crowded, I'm feeling for Libras, something, uh, there's a lot of people going on here, this is a random download coming in, Three of Cups, Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, um, too many people, too many considerations, too many, um, ugh, it's like buzzing. It's, uh, too, n not, it's not you enough. It's not connected enough to you. So, uh, this is going to end up being a simplifying time for you, uh, making things smaller, making things more concise, uh, making things more strong, cohesive. Okay. Um, and that happens through this observation process, throughout, through observing your health and uh, making the appropriate little pruning snips here and there. So like, I saw that after I was with uh, that person or after I talked to that person on the phone for two hours, that um, I felt so numb. Um, it's really simple to know that that's um, uh, an unnecessary part of the equation right now, okay? Um, so try to really follow through in action based on these things you see, okay? Um, another intuitive message coming up for you in the month of April. Um, there's gonna be more than you think, okay? There's gonna be more abundance, more money, more time, more uh, connectivity that exists based on what you want to do now. So try to not get too stuck in the previous way or the previous relationships or the previous um, things that you've done over and over and over again. Uh, that do-over phase is coming to an end. Uh, there's, there's been a bit of a collective do-over that we entered in about this time last year. Um, that should be over now that we've passed the equinox. Um, so even though things can linger, it's really important to already start injecting some of that needed freshness now. Freshen it up, Libra. Um, enjoy what you like. Simplify things. Spend less, okay? Um, have more. <laughs> have more, spend less is very possible. Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, the Chariot, uh, transformational abundance, okay? It's all for you here and now, and it's all within these things that you want now. It's not so much in these old things, though those old things can still accommodate you foundationally, 
Okay. Um, so try to not be so like make or break with things. Try to not be so like all or nothing. So like uh, hot or cold, you know, like cultivated, comprehensive wellness through observation of your tendencies, tendencies and appropriate simplification based on that observation, yielding a stronger result and a stronger life. So that's kind of the essence of, of the general Libra archetype in April when it's functioning well. Um, let's look at the week to week Libras. So first week you have the queen of pentacles rooted down by knight of cups. Um, so other people first week, these can be aspects of your own personality. Yes, but I'm feeling it to be other people for you. I'm feeling that there's a mature, wise, earthy, feminine, feminine energy. And there's also a, a very um, strong, quiet, but even secretive or unclear, imperceptible masculine water energy as well. And this is confusing. So in the way that it, in a way it does really, to me, echo your energy, because I do feel Libra to be a little bit confused right now, but seeing that clearly, like it, it's really a thing of the past, but it's still lingering. Um, and this is the process of transitioning out of it. Um, it really carries, okay, this confusion really carries this confusion uh, between those two polarities is mirrored in other people in your life right now. That's why this observance, this observation is really important. Um, so observe it, Libra. Observe this confusion and see what it means in you. Okay, week number two, you've got the Ten of Pentacles rooted down by Knight of Pentacles. Much more cohesive, much more clear, much more right. Okay, business-minded stuff, uh, deals, negotiations, inheritances, um, ventures that are more successful than you could have imagined. This can be of like money or time or energy, uh, really enjoying what you're putting your energy into, feeling that what is now occupying your energy is something that gives you much more in the future instead of just uh, giving you back in this very moment. Um, the present and the future compare themselves in the second week and you really mesh them or combine them in a positive way. Um, that's a beautiful, beautiful time. You know, promotions, bonuses, lump sums of money, um, way more time to yourself. Um, nothing but good in the second week. Third week, you've got the five of cups rooted down by the strength reversed. Uh, beautiful to see that... Um, you're working hard on the emotional aspect, even though you don't feel strong enough to see the truth of where you've been emotionally, um, you are still facing it, you are still looking at it, and you're um, accepting the level of strength that is there. And you're not afraid to uh, do the work or to simplify in order to get strong enough to face this, okay? So some of you might have had a loss, some of you might have had a breakup, some of you might have had a disconnect in the third week of April. Um, but it gives you so much as you're moving into that fourth week with the three of cups rooted down by the chariot, which is um, happiness, happiness through progress, through busyness, through uh, social socialized change, uh, through socializing um, as you change. What I mean by that is um, not doing changes alone, not just feeling alone in a process of change feeling as if you are with others, feeling as if others support you, feeling um, connected to other people through a process of change, three of cups in the chariot, uh, making the fourth week a very happy process, if you let it be, okay? Um, happy processes, Libra. Happy, happy abundance. Uh, overcoming confusion. It might take a few more months, but it's happening. Okay, congratulations, Libra. Let's not make this too complicated. I'm gonna to put together an extended reading for you over on Patreon. We're gonna talk about a little bit more. We'll, we'll look more into this confusion. We'll look more into um, the need to connect with others, relationships and things like that in the extended. You can click the center of the video now to get that reading um, as well as other readings early and ad free. And um, you can uh, find it in the description box below as well. Thank you so much, Libras, bye.